Can I hear an amen after that song? Amen. Wow. The, the praise team, just the music that our leaders selected, everything that's pulling together today is just like, wow. A day when we're going to be talking about, we've been already talking about it, choices, and, and trying to, to really imagine with a perspective that goes beyond all the different voices we're hearing in life. Yeah, I did not have a hard time selecting that slide because it's so real. All the voices that we hear, all the choices that we have to make in life. Before I go any further, I'm going to do something I didn't do in the first service. Praise team's moving back there. Um, I heard something new today I did not know about. They were talking about magic buttons. Praise team. And they all looked at each other and said, do you have a magic button? No, do you have a magic button? There's no magic buttons. And I, I, I'm laughing at that because it's so what we want to do in life. We want to have a magic button that we can push and then what happens? Really? Is that how it works? Well, God speaks to us today and he does it in a very loud and clear way through his word. One of the readings that we've already looked at was in our versicles, our introduction. It's simply this one. Joshua 24, 15. Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. It's a choice, right? Anybody ever use that for a wedding text? I know a lot of you did because I did a lot of your weddings. Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and some other people, what are we going to do? When? One of these days, sometime down the road. I really don't know. As for me and my household, we're going to serve the Lord. Well, the reading that we had today that Simon gave us is this one. It started with this simple statement from God. I'm going to back up again. Genesis, which means... Confirmation time. Genesis, which means beginnings. Exodus. What do you suppose happened during the book of Exodus? Boy, this is a hard question, right? Children of Israel left Egypt. Leviticus. A book about the Levites. Who were the Levites? Anybody remember? They're the priests. These are all these guidelines that the priests were given about stuff they're supposed to do and not do, and all these dietary laws and all Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Who in their right mind would ever guess what Numbers is about? Deuteronomy. Time for some laws to kick in, some rules, some regulations, some things for us to really begin to process, if you will. And sadly, too many people look at it as a bunch of tables set in front of us, like a bunch of rules and regulations and laws. I want you to get in your mind what a lot of us are going to be doing later on today. And if you don't have a place to go, you can come to the church. We're going to have put out a buffet too. We're going to have a party here. I don't care who wins. Yeah, I do. Um, we're going to have a party here. But as part of that party, you hear these words, I set before you. My, sorry, I'm kind of drooling already. Um, I set before you. You hear what our Lord's doing? 
The buffet is set. I lay this all out before you. Now, make some choices. Make some choices. Life, prosperity, death, destruction. There it is. Well, personally, I prefer the wings that are kind of a mild honey sauce. It's my choice. Low, low sodium content. Are you following what I'm talking about? God's saying you have all these choices in life that are before you. What are you going to do? Let's take it another step. He laid it with this down. I command you today. Whoa. There goes God again telling us what to do. Man. How easy it is to turn the word of God into a club that we want to beat one another with. God's looking at us and he says, what I want you to do, what I want to have happen in your life, what I am telling you you need to do is listen. We just went through a, a thing in, in the adult Bible class that I'm teaching. It's uh, the introduction to the Lord's Prayer. Anybody ever heard of that? The Lord's Prayer starts with our... I didn't hear you. The Lord's Prayer starts with our, we know that. Dad said, and what do you do? Um, didn't get an answer on that one either. Not our earthly father, our, Dad said, this is what I want you to do. And all God's people said, I'm working on it. Anybody see a problem with that? I set before you this buffet. I set before you all this stuff. Life, prosperity, death, and destruction. Now, what do you want to do? I command you this day. You hear how it flows? This is what I want for you guys. Decrees and laws that you will live and increase in the Lord of God. You'll bless you. I've always had trouble with some translations. In the land in which you will possess. <laughs> I don't possess any land. Anybody else? Well, I've got farm ground. I've got mean you know. No, you don't. You might get to use it for a while. It's not what he's talking about. In the land that you are using right now. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with the choices you're making now? I saw this video this week on, on Facebook. First time I saw it, I really didn't, I just saw it. I thought, okay, it's one I've seen played out in a lot of different places, but this one really caught me when I found out who's in it. Maybe, maybe you've seen it. It happened in Valley Center this last week. Let's see if technology lets us do it. Number 14, 
There's an eighth grader here, Calvin. Didn't catch that until I saw it, I don't know how many times. And then I went, whoa. He was at first service, he's wearing a 15, not a 14 for some reason. I have a clue why, no. I watched that video and I've seen concepts of it happen many times, as I'm sure you have too. It took two teams to make that happen, not just one. It took two teams. And I'm gonna take it further because I did this in the adult Bible class and I missed it the first service. It took more than that. His number is 23. What kind of guts did it take him to step out on that court? You walking with me on this one? Some choices he made. There were going to be some people out there that were going to laugh at him. What if he missed the shot the first three or four times? Who cares? It's not what it's about. How many things have we missed out on life? Because when God said, let your yes be yes and your no be I set before you life, prosperity. I, I'm, I'm laying all this before you, says the Lord your God. You have some choices to make. What are you going to do? Let's let him speak, would you? For I command you today, love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him. Keep his commands, decrees, and his laws. Then, oh, how the voices of this life turn that around. I will do it when, when, when. And God says, okay. Got something I want you to learn. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Joshua, as for me and my house, we're still working on it. It's not how it goes, is it? In Jesus' name.